If you have been doing your research on how to build the perfect capsule wardrobe for this winter, this is the perfect video for you. This is the curated list of items that you need that I created as a personal stylist. This is a mix of essential and steaming pieces because a capsule wardrobe should not be boring. These statement pieces were chosen with intention and that's what you want to do with these sort of pieces when you're building a capsule wardrobe. You are not just buying because why not? It should go with most of the items that you chose for this season. As a stylist I know, there is no one size fits all, so I'm going to give you a few options on each category. The first essential on the list, depending on where you are, is thermal undergarments. There is a variety of options, it's not just the crew neck and some sort of leggings, there are shorts, tank tops, bodysuits and even fleece lined tights if you prefer that. Let's talk about the tops that you're going to need. In most cases this will be the accent but you don't have to do that if you prefer your accent piece to be another type of garment because even if it's winter you're going to have a base outfit. You're not going to be outside all of the time and you're going to want to remove your coats or jackets at some point. We know about fleece lined leggings, they have become quite popular in the last years and we also know about fleeced tops. But there are also fleeced lined tops that you can wear by themselves and you can even pair them with the thermal undergarments. The turtleneck is the traditional winter staple, both the black one and the white one. Long sleeve tops are very important during winter and they are always going to be part of the essentials list. But turtlenecks don't look good on everyone and some people just don't like the feeling of something being tied around their neck. You don't necessarily have to go for the traditional turtlenecks and they don't have to be the white one and the black one either. You actually want them to be in the neutral colors that work for you. You don't even need to get one, there are lots of other options like a regular crew neck, boat necks, slash necks, funnel necks, relaxed turtlenecks and cow necks. The idea is that you want your upper half to be covered for maximum warmth. Scoop necks and v necks are options as well but if it's too cold you might want to pair them with a scarf or a shawl. How many of these items are you going to need? You're probably going to wear a different top each day, so I suggest having at least three long sleeve tops. Do make it a mix of fitted, relaxed or slightly fitted. Semi accent tops. Think something in between basic and accent. It should be a piece that has something interesting about it. Maybe it's the print, the cut or it has the detail. The point is to have a garment that adds a little something to your outfit. It doesn't really matter if the detail is quite small, but you want something that is not just a regular long sleeve top. By the way, these don't have to be long sleeved, they can even be sleeveless depending on your personal preference. How many of these items do you need? You already have about 3 basic tops from the previous example, so let's add 4 more for other occasions. Dressy tops. Your accent tops don't really have to be the most flamboyant thing out there and actually we don't want that, at least not for a capsule. You are probably going to attend a few holiday parties or events and if you don't really want to buy a specific outfit for that, it's very convenient to have a few pieces in your winter capsule for those occasions. How many of these items do you need? You already have four semi-accent tops that you can pair with something a bit more eye-cutting. I would say about three of them are enough. In total, you would have about 10 tops. You can add more or remove some, depending on your needs. If you're having issues with choosing what sort of accent items do harmonize with the rest of your wardrobe and with your style, not just for winter, but all year round, you can hire me as your personal stylist at cocostyling.com and take advantage of the holiday sale. This discount only applies to the style packages paid in full. Let's talk about the bottoms. 
Previously, I said that most people use their tops as the accent, but you can also use your bottoms and you should do that if you have narrow hips and you want to add a bit more volume to that or if you want to emphasize the curves that you have already. Jeans. Not everyone wears jeans, but I have three essentials for you. The first one is a looser or wide-legged pair of jeans and you want this because you want to be able to layer them with fleece-lined leggings or thermal bottoms without it being too bulky. And if you want extra warmth without doing that, then there are actually fleece-lined jeans. And the last essential is the regular pair that you love to wear. It's a bit hard to find the ideal pair of jeans for some people, so this would be your favorite pair to wear. Just try to make sure that the fabric is not super thin because you do want to stay warm. Raw denim is especially good for this. It's super thick, but it's not for everyone. How many of these items do you need? Anywhere between one and three pairs is ideal. One, if you don't really enjoy wearing jeans, but you might still want to have one just in case it gets really cold. And if you do enjoy wearing them, having three pairs might be better. You don't have to get rid of skirts just because it's cold. The best way to wear them during winter and autumn is by layering them. But here are a few pointers on how you can choose the best skirts for winter. For the shorter ones, you want them to be thicker. Wool, corduroy or tweed are ideal. They can also be lined and that provides an extra layer of warmth. Speaking about layers, if you're going for longer skirts, multiple layers of fabric do help a lot. How many of these items do you need? If you get cold easily or if you are in a place with heavy snowstorms, you might say zero for this one. But if you enjoy wearing skirts and the weather isn't as extreme, between one and three will do it. If you're like me and you really do not enjoy wearing jeans and trousers, five might be better for you. That way you can rotate them throughout the week. Trousers are also something that you want to have. Even if you layer skirts, some days you will want to be extra warm. And if you do not like wearing skirts, having a mix of jeans and trousers is ideal. You can also choose something that is a bit more fun if it's wider because that way you can layer them on top of thermal wear or fleece leggings and you'll have the warmth part covered. If there are fleece-aligned jeans, of course, there are thermal-lined trousers. If that's not something that's easily available where you are, try to go for trousers in thicker fabrics to create a barrier between you and the cold. How many of these items do you need? Ideally, four if you didn't add skirts. And two or three if you're doing a mix of skirts, jeans and trousers. You might need less if you don't go out every single day because maybe you have three days of loungewear, then that number can decrease. Let's talk about the full items. Now, full items is what I call head to toe, well, actually not head to toe, but full items would be dresses, jumpsuits and two pieces. If you love the simplicity or the look of wearing dresses, but you're hesitant about wearing them during winter time, sweater dresses are the solution for that. There are other ways in which you can wear a regular dress during winter by layering, but I'll be talking about how to layer like a pro in another video, so do subscribe. Since all of my videos are ridiculously long, I do appreciate it if you're here, just to let me know that you got to this point. Tell me what's your favorite thing about winter. I like that you basically get to wear loungewear outside and I don't mean loungewear as in hoodies and leggings, but things are very plushy and comfortable and warm and I love that. 
If you don't really enjoy wearing dresses, jumpsuits and two pieces are great options, especially for holiday events. I would say that two pieces are even better than dresses or jumpsuits because with these ones, you get three wears out of them. You can separate them and pair them with other pieces or wear them together. Just keep in mind that if you do that, you want to wear both pieces more or less the same amount of times because you don't want one of them to look more worn out than the other one when you wear them together. How many of these do you need? Because of the amount of events happening during this time of the year, four sets would be ideal. Complements are what you add to your base outfit to make it complete. These are not accessories. These would be your sweaters, your blazers, and your coats and jackets. Therefore, they are going to be the thing that's going to keep you warm during this season. Ideally, you would have two or three basic sweaters, but also try to go for border options. This doesn't have to be a hot pink one, but an accent sweater could be something like a sweetheart neck or something with an interesting texture. Have a mix of more casual sweaters like crewnecks and hoodies and then something that's a bit more polished. You should also try to have a variety of fits. Something fitted, relaxed, oversized or whatever you want depending on your preference. How many of these items do you need? Between 4 and 5. You might be thinking that's a lot but Something you can do with sweaters is that you can layer them. That's why I suggested a mix of fits, because you can wear your fitted one and then put a relaxed one over it, or even a cardigan or a duster. Blazers and jackets. These are great for winter, because you can wear them on their own if it's not that cold, or you can use them as a layer for more warmth if you pair it with a coat. How many of these items do you need? One good thing about these ones is that since they are going to be on top of about two or more layers, they don't need to be washed as often as a top, so you don't need as many of them. Unless your lifestyle requires it, having a mix of two or three blazers and jackets is more than enough. Instead of going for your typical black parka, Try to experiment with other types of coats. Try to find something eye-catching and interesting. Look at different fabrics, textures, colors, and cuts. I would say that that's especially important for puffer coats and parkas. Wool coats are usually more stylish than those. As this is a winter essentials list, I would say that you should go for a regular wool coat that is easy to pair and then an accent coat that's more visually interesting. How many of these do you need? I really recommend for you to have at least two coats just in case something happens to the first one. If you only want one, you can substitute that extra coat for a very warm jacket or winter jacket. The shoes that you need for your capsule are going to depend on what you do on an everyday basis and the weather conditions of where you are. Boots are always a good option unless you're going to the beach. You might also want to get a pair of winter boots depending on where you are. These don't have to be the regular black snow boots. That's the most practical option since it will go with most of the items in most people's wardrobes, but you can still have fun with them. A good way to incorporate them into your capsule is to not buy a random pair of cute winter boots but you want to choose something that goes with the rest of the garments that you're planning to wear. Sneakers are always a capsule wardrobe essential. They are not the warmest option, but it's good to have at least one pair laying around just in case. They can also be a bit more dressy, they don't have to be your regular training shoes. Having a pair of dressy shoes is a must. They don't have to be high heels if you don't want to, but do choose something that goes with all of your dressy outfits from this capsule. This doesn't mean that they have to be simple black, nude or beige shoes, 
you can go for something bolder but if you do that make sure to coordinate the color or the shapes with the rest of the things that you're wearing flat shoes or low heel shoes these ones are your choice boots again loafers mules or whatever you want this one is a must if you chose high heels for your dressy shoes and do make sure that these are a comfortable pair of shoes that go with almost all of the pieces here. The last shoes on the list are a pair of weatherproof shoes. This will depend on where you are. If it's snow, then something with a good grip. If it's rainy, then something waterproof. Or if it's rainy in the mountain, then something that you don't mind getting full of mud. How many of these items do you need? The amount of shoes you need really does depend on the weather conditions, but as an overall suggestion, I would say that you should have at least one or two pairs of each category. And finally, we got to the accessories part. Hats, scarves and gloves. They don't have to be the regular knitted set, and I do suggest stepping up your game with these ones. Have fun with them and a good thing is that having multiple options can change the overall feel of your looks. Jewelry. Bracelets, jackets and necklaces are ideal. If your ears are uncovered, metal earrings are not the best if it's very cold outside. And if you're wearing gloves, then rings can be impractical. How many of these items do you need? You can modify any of the amounts in the different points of the list, but with this one I'm not going to give you a recommendation. In capsules, if you went for very basic items, accessories will be the thing that will level up your outfits, and when it's cold outside, some of them will even provide more warmth. Do let me know what are your winter staples, and you can also tag me on your outfits and I might give you a bit of feedback. I finally reactivated my Instagram account and I also have a TikTok now, so I'll be talking to you there soon. As a bonus tip, if you are looking for something to give to someone, you can go through this list and figure out what they're missing and give it to them since it's about to get even colder. Do subscribe and turn on your notifications because we'll be talking about an all year round capsule soon. If you are starting to work on your New Year's resolutions, why not add dressing in your dream style to the list? Take a look at my last video on rebranding yourself for the new year. And you can take advantage of the holiday sale if you want me to help you with it. Have a nice day and I'll be seeing you soon, hopefully next Sunday.